Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Newbie Farm. Let's play Farming Simulator 2013 and today we're harvesting canola. So the canola is finally ready. And as you can see I've done a little bit, of, I've harvested a little bit of the canola already. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy started up again. Once he's all ready to go here. There we go. Then I'm gonna get this guy going. There we go. And what I did was I planted this field with barley because I wanted the straw uh, primarily. So I harvested, I took off the rest of the oats off camera and now it's planted with barley so we can take that off whenever we, uh, whenever it's ready I guess. So what I will probably do is I'll plant this back as canola maybe or maybe something else I don't know we'll see probably canola again because it's a high yeah probably canola the only other thing that's really worth a lot is sunflower and I don't have the right header for that to do sunflower yeah silage sugar beets so one of the interesting things that happened the other day or actually this morning I was able to interview my farmer friend about silage um, so if you're interested in learning about silage in real life and some of the things about that, it is on the YouTube channel now as well. Um, so that is pretty cool. Lots of interesting things about silage. Um, we actually talked about silage a little bit and baleage and haylage. Uh, there's a difference. I still have a hard time figuring it out, but uh, if I remember correctly, haylage is basically when you cut the cut your hay and then chop it up and put it into a change it into silo, uh, change it into, put it in a silo. And then baleage is basically when you wet wrap hay. And then silage is usually with corn or you can do a sorghum as well. I don't actually know if you can do uh, silage with sorghum in this game. I'm not sure, you might be able to. So we're down to $7,800, actually a little bit less than that now, 7797, strangely enough. And it's probably because I have a hard worker there. But uh, what we have right now is, where is it? Oops, not finances. So we have 2,999 canola. So, let's start the edge first. so that's gonna allow us to, uh, that's gonna allow us to sell some of that and we are gonna get some nice change from that because I think last time the price was something in the space of, I wanna say it was 420 something, and then this time we're out at 500, so it's a bit more each time, which is nice. So we're gonna be able to make a bit more money from that, which is gonna be cool. Uh, and that'll allow us to do some more things. I think what I'll do is I will probably buy another tractor. Uh, not sure what type of tractor yet. I haven't started doing uh, silo or silage at all in this game. So I might do that. I don't have enough money for... I don't have enough money for another field yet because that'll probably be like another 100,000 or so. So what I'll do is I will probably buy another tractor uh, maybe one of the small ones again, uh, so then we can get some action going when I'm not doing anything else. So I'm going to keep the forge, the self-propelled forge wagon for now. And what I'll do is I was thinking about getting, uh, where is it? Not one of the old ones, not one of those ones. One of the other Fords, maybe the front loader, although I don't need a front loader yet. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Um, maybe go with something like this as a as just a transporter who takes the the grain from the field to the to the tipper point. Um, not sure what else. The tractors I really like to use. I can't afford yet. These are my favorites right here. The 6170R, a really solid mod uh, for the mod, that was made for the mod contest. Really like those. But a little out of my price range at the moment. Uh, 
one of the other tractors. I could get one of these. This is a 65 horsepower. I actually haven't bought this, so I don't know what it looks like. It looks, in the picture, it looks kind of, kind of okay, not amazing. So I'm a little reluctant to buy that. But I do know that uh, there is a this one. The Renault is a nice looking tractor, although it does damage crop as you drive over things. So I'll have to consider that. So I might. This tractor actually doesn't have enough horsepower to do the seating, uh, but it does have enough horsepower to pick up and drop off the grain. But with course play, it would tear up the field like there's no tomorrow, so I probably won't pick that up for that reason. Uh, it's good for like transporting some things as well, so that's something to consider. Uh, this one, I don't know, has 65 horsepower, a little on the low side. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna need something probably around, ideally around a hundred. If I'm really lucky, like this one has 94. I might. That's a little expensive for us right now, though. But it would be a nice addition, so that would be able to. Uh, it wouldn't be able to seed. It doesn't have enough horsepower to seed, but it does have enough horsepower to do some other things. But if I'm just using it as a transporter. Maybe one of these will work fine, actually. We'll see. We'll see. These are nice tractors, too, actually, but they're expensive for what you get. Like 20,000 for a 61 horsepower? What's the point of that? I can get one of these. I actually don't know how much horsepower these have. I wish I knew. Um, it doesn't actually say on them how much horsepower they have, which is kind of unfortunate because I'd like to know that. Oh, where's my guy? Um, yeah, I'd like to know because... I like to try. I like to try and stay a little realistic. So I actually don't know how much horsepower that tractor has. Uh, I suppose I could look it up. Actually, a Ford eighty-three forty ninety-seven. I'm guessing it has around 150, 200 horsepower. Uh, but I don't know Ford's models very well, so it's possible it has less than that. Actually, so a little unfortunate. Uh, but we are growing barley <clears throat> over here. I'm looking forward to that because I can feed barley to the pigs, which is nice. So they can start producing some pig goodness as well. One thing I noticed actually is if the, there's zero productivity with the pigs, uh, it doesn't seem like the liquid manure goes up. So yeah, they actually have to be productive to produce liquid manure, which is kind of interesting. So I could actually just give them water and I guess they would be productive and still produce liquid manure, but yeah, I thought that was a bit strange. Yeah, so if we look at our equipment right here, like this no-till cedar actually needs about, I think it's like 210 horsepower, which I'm pretty sure our tractor has, and this Abbey manure spreader uh, actually needs, I think another, I think it needs 180, I want to say it is. Uh, it doesn't say. Uh, yeah, oh, 130, so I need something in 130 plus area. If I looked at the, not mods, but the standard... Uh, looking for horse. I think that's how you pronounce that. And I think in here it'll say how much horsepower. No, it doesn't. Hmm. I thought it did. Actually, I know what it, it'll say in the. It'll say in mods. And. Uh, hmm. That's weird. Abbey, Agravy, Orson. Where's Horsch? Horst. I think it's pronounced. I don't know German very well, so I'm not a very good person to try and say these. I guess this would be quicker if I did it this way. Uh, I need a sower. For sowing seeds, tetters, windrowers, mowers, slurry, manure, sprayer, fertilizer, sowing. Oops. One too many. Uh, this is for the, yeah, 125 to 190. Actually, that's not too bad. Um, so it needs about 190 at the top end. Uh, that's for, MR stands for the more realistic pack, so it just lets you know how much horsepower you need. And you actually do need to buy a tractor that's appropriate. Now, because I'm playing on this map particularly, and I want to use the different fruits, I'm not using this because... Um, I'm not using that because I want to use the other fruits, basically. And that's not designed to use it. So, Almost done with the canola. Like I said in the past, it's a really nice model that they use in this particular map. I like it a lot. So, it's pretty good. 
How much canola do we have now? 299 canola still. And he has 2,900 there, so it's going to be a good deal, I think. Let's go take a sip of coffee. I actually don't know if, like, you know how you look on the map, and it's like a, it has greens. In this case, I think it's just the first green. I don't know if you if the yield goes down or up based on when it's ready to harvest. Like, if it starts to wither, it starts to get closer to the withered stage. Does it lose yield? I don't know. That would be kind of cool if they actually incorporated that, but I don't think they do. So, a little unfortunate, but whatever. I still have this. I want to keep this, like I said, for my barley, but I always want to sell it as well, just because I'm like, well, it's just sitting there and I'm not using it, so. And mainly because I don't make enough money is what it boils down to. So what I might do soon, I could start uh, sheep production actually, uh, but they, I don't know, the wool doesn't really produce a lot. Well, it produces wool, but it doesn't really um, make a lot of money, unfortunately. So I'm not sure whether it's worth it or not. Like technically cows, they require the most amount of energy, but they also can make you the most amount of money as well. So. That's where the, the the upside is actually. So um, I'm not gonna run to the to the farm shop so I can drop these eggs off, but I am carrying 220 eggs, so I think that's a couple thousand. Um, so I need to keep in mind keep that in mind. So once this is done, which is gonna be soon, I am going to I'm gonna sell the canola, make some money, and then go from there. Like I said, maybe another tractor. Not sure yet. I'd like to get another field so I can plant something else. But uh, actually, let's go check to see how much this field is over here. I'm pretty sure this field is probably, how big is it? Yeah, it's pretty big. Uh, I'm gonna say 120, let's say. Oh, well, it's only 100. That's not terrible, I guess. I can't afford it, mind you, but it's 100. And if I can get, how much is this field back here? If I can get field 11, um, this one might be worth more or less, probably the same, less, a bit less, 80,000. I probably won't get $80,000 worth of, because I think last time I sold it, it was somewhere in the area of, that's two loads, so maybe 40,000 I might get all together, something like that. So I'm in that range, so I might be able to get one of those fields and then I can do uh, maybe canola. Actually, what I might do if I did that, if I was able to get this another field, what I would do is I would make uh, field uh, field 10. I'd make field 10 a, a hay field and then I'd make field 11 another uh, field of some sort. So Almost there. Driver's on his way, apparently. All right, so he should have one more, one more strip to do, and then, is that a full? I think it's almost full. Yeah, it's almost full. It probably, well, that's pretty close, actually. 89%. Um, so he might just stick around here for now and then let the combine go. I don't know if it's worth getting a new combine yet. Um, if I were to get a new combine, I would have to buy something that was either a mod so I couldn't do the new fruits or just save up a lot of money until I can afford one of the nice ones. The regular ones in game, I guess. Because I could get, that's too expensive, the Lexion. I, they only do uh, wheat, Gersh, whatever that is, and, and canola. And these only do, it doesn't say. I know this one only does the regular fruits. 
and same with that one, and same with that one. And this is actually a multi-fruit one. Uh, that will do everything, basically. Everything I have in this map. So it does wheat, rape, millet, oat, rye, spelt, whatever that is. Moan, not sure that is. Pea and barley. And this one, I think, is the same idea. It only does like the standard standard ones. Why is that other than harvesters? That's weird. Apparently I have some random harvesters in here. This is actually a multi-fruit grimmy. Uh, it'll do uh, sugar beet, potatoes, carrots, and onions, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's the standard fruits again. Forge harvesters. Uh, more realistic mod. And I think this one only does the standard ones as well. I think... Uh, this is the one I was thinking of, actually, by FS Mod UK team. This one's actually only... Uh, Altogether, it's about 15,000. So I could get that one. And the head on it actually is a bit wider, but it will only do the standard fruits, which is kind of a bummer. I'm not gonna lie to you. And the class Toscano, yeah. I really need to go in and prune all my, and prune all my uh, mods, because I have too many. Oops, apparently engine shut off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this out of the way and then we're going to make a run down to the mill and drop off some canola and make some money. Actually, I might pick up these first over here. A couple little strips that the hard worker missed, so I'll have to pick those up because I don't like leaving the little strips. Because every grain or every liter of canola is important right now. Because we don't have very much money. Hopefully, after we drop the canola off, we'll have some more, but we'll see. 171. No, didn't get anything from that either. Oh, that's lame. Oh, 172 from nothing, apparently. That's one of the funny things. You actually go 73 again from nothing. You can actually go over some areas that there's nothing and you'll get some grain again, which is kind of strange. Canola is really bad for that in real life. It'll just drop all over the place and then you get volunteer canola. I think I've mentioned that before, but I'm just going to back up here and drop off this canola in the trailer. Turn this off, get in here. He's at 92. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill him up first and where am I going here? Am I going the right way? No. Totally going in the opposite direction that I need to go. Great job. So like I said, I'm gonna fill up with fill him up with fuel, grab some more canola so I get a full load, and then we'll go from there. Actually, I might, I could up, upgrade the tipper, I suppose, but that's not going to help very much either. So canola is right over here. So I'm just going to go pick up the canola. Where is it? Just over there. Whoop! Got to be careful. Uh, where am I here? Pick up the rest of this canola. All right there. Perfect. And once it's full, you can just drive through other things, it's fine, but I never liked that, but you can, so. In my mind, I always thought what would happen is if you drove over something like that, you would uh, you would pick up that fruit as well, but or it would change or something. So as that's filling up, I'm going to jump over here and grab the eggs. So I've got 23 eggs sitting over there. Uh, no wheat and no water for these guys. Can't hear the rooster because the sound's not on. That's how I roll. I tend to watch television as opposed to listen to the game sounds, but that's just me. Ugh, this is hurting me. Alright, so let's go for a truck down to the mill. Uh, there is, I believe, there is a, a way you can get over here. Is this it? I think this is it. Oh no, this goes... Not where I want it to go. I think I've done that before in the past. And I'm backing up into my trailer. It's gonna do a little cheating here. So I don't feel like driving all the way around. 
because I think those fences are actually solid. There we go. So I'm going to drop us off at the mill because I think the mill has a good price for canola. Where am I here? Here we are. Canola, the bakery, 400. Freight yard's 526. And the mill, it's 526. So hopefully we'll get a good return on our investment here. So I'm just going to go straight for the road. And I think, I don't know how, it, how much it tops out at. It might, uh, I could potentially wait a bit longer. But it may go down and it may go up, so I don't want to take the risk. So I'm just going to drop this off here. I could drop off the oats too. Um, 182 at the bakery. 162. Uh, the bakery is a little bit far away. But... Might be worth it. We'll see. How much oats do I How many oats do I have? Uh, nope. Here we are. We have, where is it? Eggs productivity, silage straw, slurry manure, oats, 23,000 oats. Oh, okay, that's quite a bit actually. So we may sell that. We don't have much canola, but it's a low yield, high profit fruit, which is good for us, kind of. All right, let's see, we're at 5,700. Not too bad. 19,000. Not quite enough for a new, well, I could get a new tractor still, but I don't know if it's worth it still. I need to start waiting for great demands, but so many things need to be bought. And I could try and sell some pigs, but it's not worth it. It's too long of a trip to do for not very much money unless it's great demand, basically. Oh, could have gone that way. Oh, well. Um, so we have maybe another load of canola that we can sell. I think I'm going to do that because, uh, how much did I say, 80,000? Uh, if it was great demand, it would be nice, but it's not. Uh, I don't think canola's supposed to come up for great demand for a while. Uh, I don't even know what mob that actually tells you um, about the great demands. I'm not sure where I got it from. I think I just downloaded a pack and I don't know where it actually came from. But it's nice to know. So sugar beet comes up next. There's no way I'm doing sugar beet anytime soon. Silage at the biogas plant. Probably not going to do that anytime soon either. So maybe something else will come on that will be good. Hopefully. We shall see. Anyways, I'm going to do one more run on camera, I think. And then I'm going to go to the next episode. So not quite, only a half load of canola. So didn't get that much from there, unfortunately. That's just the nature of the beast. So from this, uh, from the other one we got like what? Not quite 10, 20,000. We got something like uh, 14, 15,000, somewhere in that area. So this is going to give us maybe half of that, which kind of sucks. But it'll put us over 20,000, and then we can have a look at some of those nice pieces of machinery. So we have a good seater for now. Uh, the tipper might be a good thing to upgrade, but we don't really need to. <clears throat> Not unless we're dropping it off at the... Uh, I don't know, what I'm doing right now basically at a mill. Uh, otherwise the tipper we have is fine for now. Uh, what we need I guess is some more field to work, or some more fields. Uh, so maybe that's what I'll do. We'll save up a little bit uh, for another field and then 
when I'll do probably do that off camera because it'll probably take a little bit of time because um, the time between crops in this game is quite a bit. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably save up enough money so I can buy one of those fields and then I'll come back at you guys when I'm ready to buy the field and then we'll go from there. All right, coming back here at the mill. Let's see how much we got. We got 19,000 right now. My guess is gonna be 25, maybe. Let's see. 19.2. Ah, 26, pretty close. Anyway, so I'm gonna stop the episode there. And I will see you guys later. My name is Ian Robson, and you guys have yourselves a lovely afternoon, evening, or morning, whatever it happens to be. Cheers.